Hey, what's up everybody? It's Harbinger and I'm sorry that it's been so long since I did a reaction video and I'm definitely sorry that it's been so long since I did a hell of a boss reaction video because um, if you're not seeing last uh, the last episode, which I believe the last one is episode 5, I watched that already. I watched it off camera, I watched it with my fiance and everything, we were watching it and everything and it was great, still great, still amazing. I get that I still should have had one posted and everything, but nonetheless, this one will be posted. It will definitely be posted uh, pretty dang late. I'm finalizing things for my manga and trying to get my Discord squared away. So right now, if you guys are watching this, if you guys haven't already skipped to the reaction, my Discord link is in the description down below. Uh, I made it myself. This is my first server that I made I'm trying to get. Uh, I got games in there. Well, I got two games in there. That you can play um but it's really a discord for my manga promoting anime promoting uh your own projects and everything promoting your social medias different stuff like that so if you guys want to join please join if you guys don't it's cool but right now we're going to go on and start this uh hell of a boss reaction because i know this is a long time coming i think like two three weeks a month i don't know but we're going to start this in three two one go Oh, we're seeing him again, uh, Asmodeus. Rise and shine, Ozzy. Oh, again with the horn. Don't blame me. Blame how fucking fun they are. Okay, so today you have a meeting with the distributor about the new shipment of vibrators. Then you gotta host a safety. Oh, I forgot Asmodeus was uh the sin of lust. Vibrators. And then you have a nooner with Prince Stolas. <sighs> you scheduled me during lunch. Well, you're pretty good at squeezing things in. But I left time for a big old breakfast. Let me guess. I'm handling that too. I mean Unless you want me to take a crack at cooking again. <laughs> no. Never again. What? Maybe I could burn the milk this time. Stop. <gasps> oh, you know what I'm craving? Burgers! No, it's too early for burgers, you maniac. Burger time. Burger time. Burger time! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he not an imp? Yeah, yeah, I know. I can pick up some more while I'm out today. About that. You're still going to that contest rehearsal without me? Well, you have a packed day today, and I know you aren't big on the whole mammon thing, so... It's the Greed Ring. One of the cities is literally called Ransom. Ah, you worry too much. You know I ain't afraid of ropes. Sides, I'm slippery. I mean, only after I... What? What? <laughs> I can be on my own one day. But you haven't been to the greed ring alone since becoming Mam's big brand figure. Yeah, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna stick around. I can get you an escort. Uh, I can handle it. Come on, big daddy. Please. <laughs> well, you know I can't say no to a face that cute. Mm -hmm. That's why I use it. Just try to stay out of trouble, Fizzy Frog. Ah, stop it! No. <laughs> Oz, I have the new shipment of. You mind trying to have an unemotional bang sesh here? Yeah, because we're so not in love. Yeah, love is stupid. <laughs> that was close, huh? <sighs> Just come right back when it's over and keep your phone on you, okay? Got it right here. Be right back after. Don't worry, Oz. I'll be super low key. Nobody will notice me. How are you low key? Ain't nothing about this. Oh. 
That's why I don't like Chihuahuas. Right there. I wonder if we're gonna see Greed in this episode. Cause I heard them say Mammon, and I, I remember in Demonology I believe that's Greed. Oh, fuck. You again. Stalking me now, huh? Oh, don't fucking flatter yourself, clown. I have my own life, you know, without you in it. Uh-huh, sure. Blitzo. The O is silent now, bitch. And gee whiz, we've been in each other's relative vicinity twice in the last 15 years. That would make me the shittiest stalker in history. Twice is already way too much. Yeah, well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore! Yeah, well, guess that's what resilience and talent gets ya. Plus, my horns were always bigger than yours, weren't they? <laughs> this some cop. Alright. So, you say you're good? Because we really need a big score right now. The Bass had a royal on the ropes just last week. Sure, but not dead? It was cold off, but I have a body count in the hundreds. I ain't afraid to go after anyone. Women, kids, and cute little face puppy looking things. Don't matter. Huh. I'll tell you what. If you can deliver something of value, I'll consider it. One moment. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Wanted to run into you again, Blitzy. And with a famous friend. Ah, oh, fuck me. For the record, we are not friends. Everybody's gonna hire Striker. That's crazy. You can never be too large. <laughs> you can never be too large. Let me hit the spot. Right there. That's good. I like I like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey there, birdie babe. Haven't seen you since you crashed my club. How you been? <laughs> Still getting your kink on with that feisty imp? Uh, well, um, that's actually what I'm here about. You see, I um, seem to have found myself with feelings for him, and I'm not sure if it's a mutual thing. Well, I can tell you, if you're looking for a love potion, you came to the wrong fucking guy. I don't fuck with that artificial bullshit. Lust shouldn't be about force. It's an art to be earned and enjoyed it's all about this dude shirt. got <laughs> you feel me oh no never never that i just you see this imp has a business he runs he needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work i know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally i was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too oh Hmm, Stolas, my heart bleeds for you, but my partner, uh, business partner, Fizzarelli, hates your imp guy, Blitzo, right? Yeah, hates. He does? But why? Not my story to tell, but trust me, I would help if I could, but I can't. Sorry. Modius. You don't know me, but you don't need to. All you need to know is I have your little jester here with me. If you want him back alive, you will give me exactly what I want. Do you 
have any idea who you are fucking with! I think it's a recording. You probably just asked if I know who I'm dealing with. And, oh yes, I know. The weakest and most non-threatening of the sins. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. We both know you won't risk anything happening to the clown. So be a good little bitch boy and do the thing. My lawyers will be over shortly with the contract of demands. You have until the witching hour to sign it. <laughs> now cut. I said cut it, you fucking... Moxie's dad is bold because that doesn't make any dang sense. <laughs> Oh, chill out, Jester. Christ on a stick. It's like you've never been tied up before. Uh, sure, but not by a bunch of psychos <laughs> and a piece of shit. Am I... Okay, am I the psycho or the piece of shit? Both. Yeah, that checks. How is this happening? I was just supposed to grab some gas station milk and rehearse some juggling. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big royal chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. Oh, playing that card, huh? Okay, what about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more regal lately <laughs> yeah well unlike you i fuck who i want when i want i'm not gonna be tied down to some big blue blood asshole you could have fooled me the way princey was cozying up to you at ozzy's hey stolitz only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress it's nothing you know it's nothing else then why were you even there other very important reasons of course whatever i don't actually care i mean stolas is just a loud thirsty bitch who loves feeling the thrill of getting dicked by the lower class it's a novelty to him literally just said i don't care and then he'll call me and try and see how my day was and he'll pretend to care about me and comment on my photos and laugh at my jokes oh well that's definitely your clue right there that it's all bullshit i know right he's just a fake privileged Bro. <laughs> sounds like you just hate him for being a prince because no one and i mean no one pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay point is royal demons don't give a shit about guys like us they're all the fucking same that's not Always true. But I guess you're right. They can't all be the same if some have taste and some want to fuck you. Can we talk about something other than my sex life? Satan's taint. Does fucking that lust guy make this what you're all about now? You brought it up, asshole! You two shut the fuck up already! Bigger like a couple of teen skanks. As far as I'm concerned, you two are both embarrassments to our kind for meddling with blue bloods to begin with. But at least Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh great, the fucking supremacist is on my side. Wonderful. Neither of you filth bags know what you're even talking about. If you think you're superior to anyone, then you are no better than any royal- Don't you dare finish that sentence, clown. Hey, hit for hire! I said watch them, not fuck them. Keep your hands off the merchandise. Ah, ever heard of mouthwash? Fuck face! Ugh, can I just sign it already? Like, can we move this along? Sire, you need to know the contents of this contract. You can't just sign it. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. Oh, hmm. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzeroli's head for a wall decoration. Wait, what? Just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Here's the real contract. Oh, this will be fun. I, <laughs> I, was, I was about to say. <laughs> you know, you're really bad at this. You know, last time I checked, I was a fucking jester, not an escape artist. <laughs> I just want to go home. Hmm. You want me to get you out? E e yes. <laughs> <laughs> you had a knife this whole time. <laughs> now stop bitching while I work this. Ah, bingo. So what now, genius? See that remote? I mean, I could stretch down there. No. I have a better idea.
bro. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This plan works, it's ridiculous. Well, that didn't <laughs> How the fuck show off. The fuck? Get them! Why the heck isn't Fizz like I get that he said he's a jester, he's not a uh, but like Oh no, it was the robot that he was fighting in season one. Cause I was about to say. Still my fault. Glad you can admit it. Want a medal? Look, I'm sorry, Fizz. I am so sorry that you got so hurt. I'm sorry for what you lost. And I, I know I can never make that right. Damn. I have no idea what I lost in that fire. I mean, it's, it's all my fault. I'd hate me too. I mean, I do hate hey, shit! So, why didn't you try to tell me any of this? Or come see me? Even once would have been fine. I tried. You were all I had left, Fizz. But they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that. Bullshit. You didn't? No. And no one told me you came. Oh. Oh, Christ, I'm a stab! I didn't have a fucking emotional moment here! Okay, so Okay, so are they gonna the wind up being back friends? Ownership, specifically located in the greed ring, with allocated funds going to your client for the foreseeable future while ensuring the safe return of one Fizzerali. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Now let me just reread this. Hurry up! Yelling won't make me read faster. Understanding or no, it's hard to just forgive you. It's been 15 years, and that's so much time. But I guess you didn't really ruin my life. Well, you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life? It was painful and challenging, and you know, fuck you still, but it's not like I'm broken, and I now have someone who understands me, and uh, uh, fuck you! My life has actually been pretty great. Yeah, that's lovely. You got a good thing going on with that horny rooster fucker, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's been fantastic. Because, uh, you know, it's a... <laughs> Blitz is sitting there. the biggest cock, you know? Like, massive. I mean, imagine, like, the biggest, just a giant, huge, like a kaiju, but it's a cock, you know what I mean? Like a big monster, it's big, it's huge. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Fizz. If you want to prove yourself, cowboy, here's your chance. <laughs> You've been a pain in my ass long enough, Blitz. Now, I'm gonna break you like a fucking horse. Oh, don't you dare talk sexy to me. You're still on the horse thing? <laughs> Fizz, remember how you used to distract my dad so I could steal his booze? I mean, yeah, why? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. Oh, 
one distraction coming up. When I was a young boy, I never <laughs> thought it'd come to this. Are you telling me they actually always stop me? And soon all I feel is regret. And now I'm a grown man. I've lost it all. Again. I'm really surprised Striker is stopping. But what I'll miss the most. Pay close attention while you get a look at this. Yeah, look at this. Then look at that. <laughs> Here's a hat. This nonsense mostly doesn't mean a thing But listen closely, maybe it explains everything The secret to Bitcoin, computers and microchips the key What in the future Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> riches untold, you'll have dollars and gold If you focus on me, as the story unfolds Look at this, I hold the key to the mystery Look at this, look at nothing except for me I thought Blitz could just break the damn window. You know, it's, it's uh, just as I know nothing that I used to say. Puzza lasagna. What the fuck? Contorni limoncello, forte piano. Fifth. Buongiorno alla vongole. Luigi, Firenze, Bucatini, Cingale, Cingale. And you really know how to put on a show, which is almost as impressive as the thing you said I was good at. <laughs> I guess royal jesters first. Get your fucking shit stained claws off him! <laughs> You think I'm just gonna let you get away after all this? I'm through losing these fights! This worthless little pet reeks of his overbloated master! I'll at least enjoy getting rid of him. Okay, is it bad that I'm getting hard? Shut the fuck up! Why is it always a sex thing?! <laughs> I did, but this time I stuck around. Now, please don't tell me this is going to go bad. It fuck up the moment if we made out right now. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's it. I'm going to fucking end your life. <sighs> Fizzy! 
<laughs> Get fucked, little one. Don't hit the messenger. He, so he just a lawyer. Okay, babe. You ain't never leaving the palace without protection again. Boss, you know there's eyes around. I know. I don't care. Because they know if they tell anyone, I'll break them. <laughs> well, don't worry. Today I learned that I hate going outside. You won't have to again. I'm sorry, I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize for getting banged up, babe. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there. It's okay, Oz. Guess I'm just not used to this kind of thing. <sighs> it's been an intense day. Just take it easy, okay? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine, really. You know I bounce back fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, besides my whole scary hostage thing, how was your day? Well... I was stuck with Stolas the whole time, who, by the way, asked me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate. So, I told him no. Mm-hmm. Nah, hmm. eh, fuck it. Let him have it. Excuse me? Yeah, why not? You could say he earned it. All right, then. Anything for you. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but having a violent rush with crime has given me a whole mess of new kinks. You want to go make a mess? You really think that's a good idea right now, Fizz? Sure, don't you? Well, obviously. <laughs> that man said that deep voice make me... <laughs> All right, that was episode six of Hell of a Boss. Now, I will say this. Besides the fact that the lore, especially around Blitz, is like really getting up there. I, I thought it was funny, in a sense, that they were, that Osmodius and Fitz were, in a sense, being hypocritical when they were uh, making fun of Stolas and Blitz. Because they act like on the other hand, uh, Asmodeus uh, and Fitz, they don't hide the fact that they're screwing each other. However, they make it seem like it's not uh, romantic, like it's not a romantic interest because he's lust and obviously lust isn't necessarily romantic. And I thought it would have really been uh, good if Blitz and Stolas came in since they were both technically kidnapped, but they only made it seem like one of them was kidnapped, so I get it. And then we didn't see greed, which is cool. I mean, we don't have to see a sin every single freaking episode because then this thing will only be probably about seven, <laughs> seven episodes long. But seeing the dynamic between Fitz and Blitz, because we were we were always hinting. And speaking of which, hold up, this dude Blitz is like Jack Sparrow, and some of y'all ain't gonna know what I mean. Jack Sparrow had ties into every single antagonist, person of interest in the Pirates of the Caribbean series, every single one. And Blitz, it's seeming like that. He, uh, in season one, I believe. Uh, is when we first get introduced to Fitz. It's shown that him and Blitz know each other. Then uh, Blitz's relationship with Stolas. Um, Blitz uh, making a new relationship with Stryker, who becomes a constant problem later on. Um, what else? Uh, Blitz's sister, who came around, and probably uh, their mom, because Blitz's dad wasn't wasn't nothing. But his dad wasn't shit. So, the fact that he had a picture of his, I'm assuming, mom and his sister, I'm pretty sure, was in that picture. The one that got burned. It might be the case that in that one incident, 
their mom died, Fitz got burned, and because of their mom's death, his sister hates him. That and his sister spiraled after that. That could have been the one thing that like caused every single thing to happen. Now I don't know if that is the case. Maybe Blitz did something else and fuck uh, to accidentally fuck some shit up. But it seems like that one situation ruined his relationship with his sister, made him lose his mom, and he ruined his relationship with his best friend. If that's the case, I wonder how his sister is even going to like react to knowing the truth, or maybe she's just, or maybe she already knows the truth and she doesn't care. Like any one of these things could be possible. Uh, Blitz and Fitz are like repairing the relationship, which is good. Very surprised that Fitz does not know how to like fight in any way, shape, or form. And then one thing that did throw me off is, I mean, I figured that since they're demons, they might regenerate stuff like that and everything. But I did not think that those white patches on Blitz was actually, in a sense, a scar. I didn't think it was like a burn scar. Which explains why Fitz's whole face is pretty much white because he blew the heck up. Now, does Moxie or Millie have a scar? I, I don't know. But I didn't think that those would actually be scars. I think they were just like, you know, just regular old marks or they were like birthmarks dang near. But a scar, I had no freaking idea. Which uh, definitely adds more character to Blitz. Overall, the lore for this is just extremely vast. And Vibsy Pop always does a great job of delivering. I'm going to see you guys in the next reaction video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And check out my manga Discord in the description down below. And just help your boy out. I want I want to build a community somewhere else besides YouTube. Because, because of my inaction, because of my inactivity, my YouTube community is like... So I'm trying to build another community somewhere else. I'm going to see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>